Ideally for us, our favorite time to shoot is during golden hour, but you don't always get to choose what time you shoot, and sometimes you wanna shoot in a style that's not conducive to soft light. So today we're gonna to tell you everything you need to know about shooting portraits in hard light. Let's get started. One of the worst things about hard light is the unflattering shadows it casts on your subject's face. Simply use a reflector to balance light onto your subject's face and fill the shadows. Here, we're using the silver side of our reflector, which will not only balance a lot of light, but it will also give our photo a high fashion slash editorial feel. When shooting in hard light, shadows under the eyes and chin seem to be the hardest to avoid. You can target these by placing your reflector under your subject's chin. This works best for traditional portraits and headshots. If your reflector alone isn't bouncing enough light onto your subject, try bouncing a flash off of it. The power from your flash combined with bouncing it off of a larger surface like a reflector will help you in creating a more evenly lit subject. If you prefer a more subtle and natural style of photography, instead of using a reflector to bounce light, you can use it as a scrim to diffuse the sun by holding it over your subject. When we have no choice but to shoot at times with tough lighting conditions, the first thing we try to do is prioritize finding a shaded location. Alleyways and sides of buildings tend to be good places to start looking for this. A mediocre backdrop with good light will beat out a good backdrop with bad light in most cases. When you shoot in hard light, you'll quickly find that your subject will probably have a hard time keeping his or her eyes open. We like to pull out this handy pose for just this occasion. Have your subject extend his or her hand to block the light from his or her face. Not only will the framing be unique, your subject can have a break from the sun. If you are anywhere near a building with reflective glass or metal, find the place where the windows or metal are reflecting the sun around you. Here you will find some of the most gorgeous creamy light that will look like you've invested time and money into getting your lighting set up just right, when in reality, you've just easily stepped into it. When you're shooting digital photos in hard light, we recommend exposing for the highlights or even underexposing a touch to maintain highlight information. We use evaluative or matrix metering on our camera, but if you're still having trouble nailing exposure, you can set your camera's metering mode to spot metering, which generally uses the center point of your frame to meter, which can help make sure you don't overexpose your subject. When editing, we honestly just use your own preset collection, but if you don't have that, here are a few tips. Bring your highlights down to retain some of that detail in the brighter parts of your image. Lift your shadows to bring back some more information into the darker parts. Try lowering the overall contrast to even out the image. We hope these tips help you feel more confident shooting in hard light conditions. By far the simplest thing you can do to help combat hard light is by purchasing an inexpensive 5-in-1 reflector. We've linked ours in the description below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next Monday.